What is going on you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use a TV in a photo shoot. Let's check it out. Okay, so for this first shot, I'm going to basically do a Google image search of some neon images and then basically you can take some portraits in the dark so I'll lower the blinds of the set um, but basically just have it running through the PlayStation um, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so I finally found a image that I think I like. Um, so I'm going to put it up on the screen in full view and then we're going to take some shots and let's see how it turns out. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the lights off. And I gotta say, it's looking pretty good so far and I've only just take, taken the camera out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect the camera, uh, I got my Canon 6D just here. Um, I'm gonna connect that to the app and use it as a remote. So let's get some shots and see what it's like. Okay, those are looking really great so far, but I'm just gonna try some of the shots with these glasses. They're nice and reflective. So hopefully we should get the reflection bouncing off the glasses and shooting through. Kind of similar to what I did with the light shoot, but I wanna give it a try and see how, because I think it should get some good results. So I just finished up with the sunglasses. So what I ended up actually doing, I actually ended up moving the camera to the side and had a bit of reflection coming in. So I'll show you right now. So you can see there, you got a bit of reflection coming in from the camera onto the TV. Uh, so that's kind of what gave that reflection. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna change this backdrop and then we should be good to go. Okay, so what I've done is just basically downloaded a bokeh background from Google Images. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a product in the front of it and then I'm just going to use that as a bokeh background and hopefully it should create some nice bokeh as a background. This one's pretty easy, but super useful if you're in a pinch. Okay, so I think we got some great images out of that one. Uh, it wasn't that hard, it was basically just shooting, but uh, what I did there at the end, I basically turned off the overhead lights, and then I just used the flash on my phone to get some sort of different angles of the light coming from it, uh, and it just completely changes it. Highly recommend you guys check that one out when you, if you're shooting any products. Always handy hack, but um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next shoot is inspired by the movie The It. So I'm basically going to have the TV with static snow um, and I'm basically going to have the camera set up all the way over there as you can see um, and then turn off the lights and hopefully we should get a good shot. Perfect. Okay, 
So I just finished up with a TV shoot with the uh, fuzz and I think we got some really great shots. Let's move it on to the next idea. So this next shoot I call Praying for Good News. So what I'm gonna do, I have a camera set up here again. I'm gonna have that reflection hopefully. And I'm gonna do like, I'm praying for good news. Hopefully this virus goes away sort of thing. So it's a bit more dramatic. I hope you guys enjoyed that little shoot and hopefully it gave you a bit of inspiration for something to shoot at home. Next time you're looking for something to do whilst you're not that out of the house. Hope you guys are staying safe. If you like this one, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.